As you may know, the F-35 Lightning II stealth fighter aircraft family, manufactured by Lockheed Martin, consists of three variants. There is F-35A, F-35B, and F-35C. All of these variants have identical performance characteristics and modern avionics. They are all single seat and well known as the world's most deadly, survivable, and advanced fighter aircraft, providing pilots an advantage against any adversary, as well as allowing them to complete their mission and return home safely. However, the different basing requirements of F-35 variants result in the service-specific mission capability achieved by military forces. So what are the differences between A, B, and C models of F-35 fighters that distinguish them from one another? The F-35A was designed to operate from conventional runways and is the most common model deployed by military forces. Therefore, it is distinguished as the conventional takeoff and landing CTOL variant in the F-35 family. The F-35A is expected to be the standard F-35, since it is used by the U.S. Air Force and the majority of international allied air forces. It is also mainly operated by foreign military sales, FMS nations. Conventional takeoff and landing design has never been customized to various nations' requirements, most notably the Israeli F-35I Adir. Moreover, the F-35 can carry armaments internally in stealth mode or externally in acceptable situations, totaling more than 18,000 pounds of total ordnance. The F-35A is the only version armed with internal 25mm cannon, while also sharing some weapons featured in the B and C variants, including two air-to-air -air missile systems and massive 2,000-pound bombs. This makes the A variant perform a stealth mission against a deep-hardened target, or called bunker buster bombs. The F-35A is the smallest of the three types of F-35 family and can withstand higher gravitational force than the other two. With its sophisticated technology, the F-35 is a multiple-role fighter capable of effectively executing any and all tasks. The F-35B is a vertical short takeoff landing V-stall variant of the F-35 fighters, which was designed to operate from remote, short field bases and a variety of air-capable ships, including aircraft carriers of the Queen Elizabeth class. The aircraft can land vertically like a helicopter and take off in very short distances. It can also take off and land on standard runways at larger sites. Due to its ability to hover in midair and even take off and land vertically like a helicopter, the F-35B seems to be the most interesting variant of the F-35 Lightning II fighter jets. Furthermore, as the V-Stall version, the F-35B has an extra shaft-driven lift fan installed below the cockpit in the fuselage. This is aimed to produce lift and enable the V-Stall functionality. To accommodate this fan, however, the B model compromises around one-third of the fuel volume of the A variant, severely lowering its range and its limit to just 7 G's maximum to minimize harm to internal components. This also makes the F-35B considerably fatter and bulkier than the F-35A. The weaponry that the F-35B can carry internally differ from those of the F-35A because of different specifications and fuselage forms. The F-35B's interior armament bays carry less weight than the F-35A's. With a stealthy fairing, the F-35B can place a gun pod center line beneath the fuselage. This pod can store 40 more rounds than the F-35A's internal cannon, and it may be more accurate due to its proximity to the HUD and cockpit. In comparison, the F-35B is essentially the same aircraft as the A model, with the exception of minor mobility and weapon constraints. The B version of the F-35 jet costs around $122.4 million per unit, making it the most expensive of the three aircraft programs. It is currently in service of the United States Marine Corps, the United Kingdom, and the Italian Air Force. 
The F-35C is the U.S. Navy's first stealth fighter and the world's only fifth-generation stealth attack aircraft. It is critical to its supersonic speed, long range, and high maneuverability, which is specifically designed and manufactured for Navy carrier missions. Hence, the F-35C is operated exclusively by the Department of the Navy and is popularly known as the CV or Carrier Variant, which is the naval designation for the aircraft carrier. The C model features a 43-foot wingspan, larger than that of the A and B models, which is only 35 feet. The F-35C also has more robust landing gear and wing tips with an ability to fold when the aircraft is deployed to provide additional space on the carrier's deck. These features, therefore, qualify the jet for the U.S. Navy's catapult-style assisted launches and fly-in arrestments aboard the aircraft carriers. The F-35C is fitted with a larger internal fuel capacity than the other two F-35 models and is armed with the same weaponry as the F-35B version. Overall, the F-35C's design and characteristics, which include integrated sensors, internal fuel and weapons capacity, aligned edges, as well as cutting-edge manufacturing methods, all contribute to its unique, very low, observable stealth capabilities. Thus, the pilots can operate in disputed and anti-access zones with great lethality while escaping enemy radar. For these reasons, the F-35C becomes the Navy's first stealth aircraft as opposed to the Air Force, which has used stealthy bombers and fighters for years. In brief, the F-35A is a conventional takeoff and landing variant, the F-35B is a short takeoff vertical landing variant, and the F-35C is the carrier variant. The initial variant of the F-35A and F-35B flew for the first time in the first and third quarters of fiscal years 2007 and 2008 respectively. Then, the first flight of a slightly modified variant of the F-35A was conducted on November 14, 2009. On the other hand, ability of the F-35B to hover, which was planned to be presented in November 2009, was demonstrated for the first time on March 17, 2010 and its first vertical landing took place the next day. Following this, the F-35C had its first flight on June 6, 2010. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.